Please don't forget to like this video and if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button, then click the bell and then click all. Every like and subscribe helps us make more great videos for you. Okay, so today I'm taking a look at WinX DVD Ripper Platinum, which is a great program if you want to convert your DVDs to put onto a iPhone, iPad or a computer, any device basically, or if you want to make a backup copy of your DVD just in case it goes missing or gets scratched, etc. So all we need to do is just open up the program just by clicking on the icon on the desktop. And then I always recommend once you've opened it up is to click on this check for update here just to make sure there's no update. So as you can see, it says you're using the latest Win X DVD Ripper Platinum, and uh, it says on the 27th of September, new, uh, the iPhone 13 profiles were added. So I'm just gonna click on OK on that, so there's no updates needed. So the second thing we need to do is we need to put our DVD in the disk drive. So shove it in the disk drive, wait about 30 seconds, because the disk drive does take a while to recognize the DVD. Sometimes you might get something come up in the bottom right hand corner of the screen saying that uh, it's recognized the DVD or the DVD might start playing. Well, if it does stop it from playing and then come back to here. So the next thing we need to do, very, very easy, as it says on the screen here under getting started, is click the DVD button to load the DVD, then choose the output format and then choose run. So I'm gonna click on the DVD just there and that's my DVD in there, so I'm just gonna click OK, and it's gonna scan the DVD now, OK, and it's gonna ask me what format do I wanna put it in? What format do I wanna output it to, should I say? <clears throat> we've got general profiles here, so we've got MP4 video, AVI, iPhone and iPad, Android, WMV, DVD video copy. We've got M4V, MPEG4, or MOV video there. If we want to do a backup here, so it asks us what do we want to do? Do we want to just back up the main title, i.e. just the film, or do you want to do a full title copy, including all audios, videos, and subtitles? You can copy the DVD to an ISO image for storage, or clone the whole DVD to a folder. Devices here, we've got Apple devices here, so we've got the iPhone, the iPad, the iPod, Apple TV, iTunes, iDVD, iMovie, Final Cut Pro, AirPlay Video. We've got all those different devices there under Apple. We've got the Android Pad, so we've got HTC Pad, Samsung Pad, Amazon, Google, Huawei, Lenovo, Acer, Asus, or General if yours isn't listed here. You've also got Android mobile phones, so HTC, Samsung, Google, Huawei, Acer, Amazon, or General, again, if yours isn't listed there. Microsoft device, Microsoft WP8 pad, Microsoft WP8 mobile, Xbox, Zoom, Surface, Sony devices, PSP, PS3, PS Vita, Xperia, or PS4. And then you've got other devices there, so Blackberry, Nokia, PDA, or Zen. As we go further down there, you can convert to YouTube video, to Facebook video, Vimeo, or General Web. You've also got PC General Video, Mac General Video, TV Video, to music, if you just want to extract the music from there, or TS Video there. So all you do is you just select what you want to put it on. So I'm going to go to Apple, I'm going to go to iPad, and I'm going to select my iPad. Now, if you can't find the iPad listed here, then just select the one that's closest to the one you've got. Now, uh, there's quite a few listed here, so I think mine is the iPad 4. And we've got two options here. We've got the iPad 4 H.264 or MPEG-4 video. Now it's really at the end of the day, it's just a matter of experimentation there. So I'm going to choose H.264. So let's choose that and then choose OK. Or well, before we do that, we can select whether or we want low quality, high quality. I find it best just to leave this in the middle there. And that gives you a mixture of speed as well as quality on there for conversion. So let's just click OK there. 
it then scans through the DVD and then finds all of the parts of the DVD. Now, a lot of the parts on many DVDs are just little extras or titles or menus. So it's pretty good this uh, selecting just the film itself, which is the bit you want there. So here you've got the, uh, the length of the film. So that's one hour 26. So that obviously is the film. You've got the aspect ratio 16 by nine. So that's widescreen and here, you can select what audio you want. So if, say for instance, you only want two channel audio, you can just select two channel audio, or if you prefer six channel audio, you can select that. You've also got subtitles here. Now at the moment it says subtitle disabled, so you can click on that. And if you want English subtitles, you can select that there or your language there. Um, or if you just want the full subtitles, so just the parts that are not in your language to come up you can uh, you can do that you've also got a nice little edit there so you can edit the movie if you want to you can crop it you can trim it you can adjust the audio volume if it's uh, not loud enough so uh, lots of little extras on there as well you can also choose the hardware accelerator so if you've got a good graphics card in there uh, it will take advantage of that to speed up the process of conversion. And then all we do here is we just click run when we're ready. So uh, let's just do that. And there we go. Now on mine, it's going to take a while because I've got quite a slow machine. So uh, it is going to take several hours. I mean, even on the fastest of machines, it probably will take a good few minutes on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video and we're gonna come back to it once it's finished. Okay, so the DVD has nearly finished processing. That took a while, so only a few seconds to go though. Okay, so there you go. It says all jobs have been completed. So we just click on okay there, and where we'll find our videos is under the videos folder on our computer and then win X videos. So we can close this down just by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner there. And win X should open up that folder automatically, but if it doesn't, I'll show you how to get to it. So you click on any yellow folder. So I'm just gonna click on this one here at the bottom, the file explorer window. And then once it's open, look down the left hand side here and see if you can see videos. Click on videos. OK, and then double click on Win X videos there and the file should come up. Now we just copy this now to our device. Now, if you're not sure how to do that, I've generally found if you've got an Android device or a iPhone or an iPad, probably the quickest and easiest way to do this is to download an app from either the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store called VLC. So download that, install it. Then once you go into VLC, tap the network menu and turn on sharing via Wi-Fi and then check to see what the IP address is underneath sharing via Wi-Fi. So, and then all you do is you just open up a browser, can be any browser, and once it's loaded, go to the address bar right at the very top of the screen, not the search bar, not the Google bar or the search of the web bar, because it won't work in that. It'll only work in the address bar at the top of the screen. Delete out what's in it and type in the IP address that's shown on your VLC under sharing via Wi-Fi. Now mine is 192.168.10.32. Yours will be different to this. I'd be very, very surprised if it's exactly the same. There's probably a one in a million chance it'll be the same. But uh, once you've typed that in, press enter or return on your keyboard, okay? And then you should get this come up, sharing via Wi-Fi. Just click on the plus just up there in the top right hand corner. OK, and then find videos either on this screen here or on the left hand side here. Click on it, double click Win X videos and then find your video there that you've converted. Double click on it. And then as you can see here, it's starting to load it into VLC player and then once it's loaded when you go into VLC player on your Android device your iPhone or your iPad you will see the movie in there so there you go that's a great guide 
for a great program called WinX DVD Ripper Platinum for basically converting your DVDs onto your iPhone, your iPad or your Android device or any other phone or tablet or computer with ease. Hope this guide helps and thanks very much for watching. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure that you find out about all my latest videos as soon as they're released. Hit that subscribe button. See you again soon. You can follow me on Twitter, at CWTech. That's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.